So to prepare a role like the Count, first of all I'd um, translate the whole role from Italian to English, um, work out what everyone else is singing so you have a good idea of exactly what's going on on stage. Um, and um, I suppose then it's just a question of working out which way you want to play a character like the Count. You can play them in, in various different ways, often usually it's a, a collaboration with the director and what the director wants and hopefully you can find some sort of compromise if it's uh, different from your ideas of the role. Um, the Count is a, is a complicated character, especially if you know the, con the sort of context in, in the De Ponte operas, where he comes from with regard to the Barber of Seville. Um, but uh, it's very easy to, to, be, to play him superficially because Mozart obviously writes so clearly for his characters. I think there's a lot more to him than, uh, than just somebody who wants his own way all the time and is used to getting his own way all the time and doesn't like it when he doesn't get his own way. Well, I think Magic Figaro is an iconic opera. Um, I think, um, personally, it's my favourite Mozart opera. The music is sublime. I think the storyline um, transcends time. I think it's perfectly... Um, Easy to uh, have to use it, use it in, in modern day settings with the modern day scenarios. Um, equally, um, when it was set in the sort of eighteenth century, um, I think a lot of the ideas and principles are still the same. Um, it's a comedy, um, so usually there's a lot of fun to be had. And uh, yeah, I think lyric opera generally do operas um, for full full scale productions. Uh, in a very attractive and very watchable way, which uh, usually mean, means for an enjoyable evening.